Okay, um, I'm going to do my tutorial, uh, just a little bit of what I know to share it with other people that might not know it. So, this is how I'm going to get started. Um, I'm going to show some basic modeling that can really, really speed things up and has been a total lifesaver in the past. What you're going to do, you're going to go to Polygons, and if you're not in Maya, Autodesk Maya 2011, it's going to look a little bit different, but it's still basically the same idea. You're going to come over here, I need to change that, and then you'll select this. Um, you'll need divisions on this, so I use I use the space bar whenever doing anything. So, it is Edit Deformers. Nope, actually it's Mesh, because they change it from... Let's see... <laughs> I'm a little bit rusty, but this will save you time. One side. There it is. Add divisions. Okay. Now that we've added divisions, we're going to hit 1. Wait. Why isn't Smooth Mesh Previewing? Okay. 3. 3. Smooth Mesh Preview. Okay. Sorry, they flipped it. And I'm used to Autodesk Maya 9. Yeah, 9. This is 2011. And and they flip the uh, smooth mesh previews. So, once you get to here, this is where you can start modeling. It is very, very easy once you get to here. Because all you do is go to face. Say I want some arms on this guy. I'm going to select. I'm going to shift select both these and uh, I think I'll shift select both these okay that's all you gotta do then you hit the space bar go to edit mesh and again it is on edit mesh not where I went I went to mesh you're going to hit extrude once you hit extrude, hit W, it's usually easier to work with. And yes, it does look weird at the moment, but we are making a Doughboy type creation. It's very, very simple. Very, very easy to demonstrate. See? Now we have our Doughboy's arm and leg all without any hassle at all. It is this smooth mesh will save you a lot of time in your um, whenever you are modeling. When modeling though in smooth mesh you need to keep your poly super low like I am. Your My poly needs to stay very very low. If you get a high poly count during this, whenever you transfer it over, you will not be able to use it. It'll basically be trash. And that's one of the downfalls of using this because you have to stay really, really low poly the whole time. And if you're not, you can really mess yourself up and waste a lot of time. But there's also upsides on how it's faster, smoother, you usually get a better model that works better. Uh, you'll get a better model that uh, works better with skeletons usually, I've noticed, once you uh, use this, because the poly is where it needs to be, instead of where you think it needs to be, because amazingly, we're usually wrong whenever we say whenever we think we know what's going on in these programs and I am really really messing up his arm at the moment just to mess with it because a lot of a lot of the the modeling is just messing with it until you get it to the way that you like it and I will do a little bit of tinkering right now uh, 
but I promise not to do a whole lot because that would get very boring. That's what you do whenever you have a lot of free time is tinker. Um, but now uh, what I'm going to do is one of my favorite things ever because a lot of the things in nature are symmetrical. It may not look it, but all our bodies are symmetrical. We don't have an odd number of arms or an odd number of legs unless there were horrible accidents. I'm not against anyone that had horrible accidents, just saying it doesn't happen in normal life. <laughs> wow, not a good way to grab the audience there. Um, now, we'll select, we'll go to object mode, we'll select this whole entire thing, and it's very fun whenever you first start playing around with this, because you can get really, really creative on how you do things. What I'm going to use is mirror geometry, I'm going to go over here to that little box. So it gives me these options. Um, then I'm going to look down here, I have my Y going up and my X going over. I want to flip it this way. So, I want to go on to the negative X. But, if you get it wrong, you can always hit Control Z and then come back and try again. I mean, you can only get it wrong so many times before you get it right. Uh, that's the nice thing about this. You'll eventually get it. It just takes practice, practice, practice and a lot of luck. So I'm going to hit apply and there is a body of a doughboy. Now what you do is we're going to select these upper faces. Sorry if you hear any banging. I am in a house full of people. I am only 17 and brothers, sisters, moms, dads don't care that I'm recording and are all mean. Um, now we're going to select these, because we're going to pull, you pull everything usually. It's very rare that you combine things. I've noticed that throughout, um, whenever I was learning this program. It's very, very rare. You want to, you want to use what you started with and keep using it until you can't use it no more. Um, so we're going to edit mesh and add divisions. This gets a little bit icky right here. These, but they will be fine because we're going, because this is just a smooth mesh preview. You will get used to them as they go, as they, as they sit there. And this guy now looks like a monster um, instead of our doughboy. But as you can see, you can start to see how all of this comes together. And... With a little bit of touch-up, this is very easily converted into a doughboy. And I'll show you that right now. Learning how to manipulate things will be a great asset if you intend to do this avidly. Um, you gotta have a really, really wide imagination to imagine, because you want to imagine this stuff in your mind before you do it, so you have an idea of what might happen instead of just going at it un unaware of what might happen. Um, yeah, I'm liking this. This guy might actually be used for rigging at some point, but not right now. He's a little bit far from that. We're going to now do um, something else to him that might or might not make him worse, but we'll find out. Um, select faces. Um, this is a lot of back and forth whenever you're doing this, and it's all about the feel. Like, and I know that um, it's really weird, but if you Imagine what this character is going to be doing while you're building him. It makes it a lot easier to build him. Because, uh, the, well, the answer to that question for me, I 
don't really know why it's easier to do it, but it is. And that beep was me saying that we need to start stop recording and we will continue in the next video. Um, yeah. But, for this video, we have actually made a whole entire body. Arms, legs, and now his face is right here. Um, in the next video, we'll do a little bit of touch-up, and we'll be starting to get him down to uh, looking a little bit more like a doughboy. Right now, he's just a shapeless man of shapelessness, and we'll get to that in the next video.